Hello gorgeous souls. My name is Rochelle and welcome back. Welcome to the DIY Affiliates and Collectives Soul Journey. This short video is presented in three quick parts. Part 1. The Ancient Sofa Show Frequencies Healing App. Part 2. The Auric Field. The Subtle Energy Bodies featuring the Emotional Body, the Chakras and Prana Vital Life Force. Part 3. A 10-minute guided sacral chakra unblocking meditation by Brain Education TV channel. I'd like to say a special welcome to all of my new subscribers and everybody who is with me on this life journey. Where we talk about awakening, awakening to a twin flame journey, the algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome, energies, frequencies, and chakras. Before we get to the video, if you are looking for knowledge about the six stages of awakening or the twin flame journey, then look to the top right and find a playlist and you can choose the right video for you. And please take a moment to subscribe to my channel for more updated content. I give you just the facts. Jump in the video. Part 1. Get the free Sofa Show's Frequencies Healing Self-Healing App. You will see the link in the description for the Google Play Store and for the iOS App Store. Install this app. Open the app up. Find the Chakras Power and click on Chakras Power. Either be a premium user or use the free version in which you will see an ad come up. Watch the ad. This will then give you access to the chakras power. Locate the second icon up, the orange color icon. This is the sacral chakra. Tap to open it. You will see this screen in which you have options to add nature sounds, to add a timer, to add a ohm chant, to turn the frequency higher or lower, to use pranayama breathing, or to use a headset on and use for binaural beats to help with relaxation and sleep. The pranayama breathing for body energy anti-stress and anxiety. If you are not used to listening to frequencies, then find this icon here, which is the Sofa Show Frequency Volume Indicator, and turn this down. You will hear less frequency and more music. The Sacral Chakra is located in this area of the body. Part 2 will answer the question of what is your auric field? What is the subtle energy body system and how does it work? We are not just physical bodies. There is a pulsing electromagnetic energy field that connects us and putting the aura or the auric field. The aura is the electromagnetic field of energy that extends all around the body, expanding about four to five feet away from the body in an average healthy body. This is an energy source field that interacts with our physical body by flowing through spirals of energy centers located in specific places in the body. The spiral energy centers are known as chakras. This is a Sanskrit word meaning wheels of light. There are seven main chakras plus a number of smaller ones that interact with our body's ductless and endocrine glands and lymphatic system. By feeding in the good energy and disposing or getting rid of unwanted energy, this helps to regulate the energy as it flows in and around and through your body. So this is important to our health because we want to prevent illness or disease. So we need to learn how to nourish our chakras and understand what is this energy pulsing through the body. You've heard of the word prana. What is it and what does it mean? We get most of our sustenance from the Mother Earth, from the air we breathe. 
the water we drink, and the food that we eat. This all creates prana, which is a vital life force life force that can be absorbed into your body through the chakras. When your physical body is fully in harmony with life, a larger central line of energy called the Shushumna Hara line extends down through the auric field right into the earth's core. This is called the umbilical cord to Mother Earth. So now what is this energy which is the life source of the universe? Prana. Prana is an energy that pulses through the body along a network of subtle body channels. Similar to the nervous system, the channels or nadis, meaning pathways of the subtle body, connect, form, and mind, and act as a conduit for this prana energy. We have talked about the subtle energy system that has seven energy bodies. In this video, I am talking about the second energy body, which is called the emotional body, which is connected through the, si the sacral chakra. The emotional energy body. This subtle energy body or layer flows from the sacral chakra or second sh chakra from the base of root. The sacral sh chakra or the sa savishana and expands approximately 10 centimeters outward from the etheric energy body. This energy layer of the auric source field changes color most often as it is affected directly by a person's emotionally, emotional state. How you feel deep inside matters. Your words are powerful, but it is how you feel down to your core, the emotion that you are feeling and creating, that will show up in your emotional body energy. And this is the second layer of your auric source field. When a person sees different colors mixed in the aura, the emotional body energy is what the person is seeing. This energy body is especially easy to view when the person is in a highly emotional state. Generally, the brighter and clearer the colors are in this layer, the more balanced and healthy the person is, the more emotionally secure the person is. Muddy colors typically indicate emotional stress and trauma. The emotional energy body will be either bright light or swirling with dirty clouds of negative energy. These are issues such as unresolved karma or leftover baggage, which can block and stagnate any progress you are making on your own soul journey. If you feel happy at your core, then your first and second subtle energy bodies will display clear bright colors that most people can see. Part 3 a 10-minute guided sacral chakra unblocking meditation by Brain Education TV channel. In the right frequency now, 417 hertz, connect to your emotional body and unlock your inner power from the sacral chakra guided meditation. Hello Earth Citizens. In this video, I will show you how to do a 10 minute routine for your second chakra. First of all, your second chakra is located two inches below your belly button and imagine two inches inside in the center of your body. In brain education, the second chakra is a bright red color like this. So someone with a healthy second chakra have a lot of creative energy. They also have good relationships with themselves and good relationships with others. While someone with unhealthy energy in their second chakra might experience low levels of energy, low drive, some issues with their sex life, some issues with their own relationships with themselves and relationships with others. So typically people who hold a lot of grudges, hold a lot of resentment, hold a lot of regrets, emotions that affect relationships with themselves and other people have some issues in their second chakra. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some exercises to release some stuck and heavy energy that may be in your second chakra. Okay, so we're gonna start by lying down on the floor. Okay, so lie down on your on the floor with your knees bent like this. Feet flat on the floor, feet shoulder width apart. If you can see, my feet are not together, my feet are shoulder width apart. Arms by your side, palms facing upward, and we're going to gently bounce your sacrum area like this. The sacrum is a very important place to help open up your second chakra 
A lot of the times, because we sit down for a long period of time, this area is blocked. If the back side is blocked, the front side is blocked, and everything is blocked. So we're going to start by lightly tapping your sacrum. You can close your eyes if it helps you focus on your body better, if it helps you feel your body better. Relax your sacrum, relax your pelvis, bounce. Let's bounce 50 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel your sacrum and tailbone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Stop. Drop your knees to one side. Face the other way. Twist your lower back. As you twist your lower back, breathe. Ooh. Now switch. Drop your knees to the other side. Look the other way. Twist and breathe. Ooh. Feel the deep stretch in your lower back. One more time, switch. As you exhale, imagine all the heavy energy in your sacrum releasing out through your breath. One more time, switch. Okay, return to center. We're going to do the same thing again 50 times. This time, try to feel if there's even a slight difference this round compared to the first round, okay? All right, relax your hips, relax your sacrum, tap. Keep your feet shoulder width apart, flat on the floor 50 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Great job. Stay here. Can you feel some tingling sensation coming from your tailbone and sacrum out to your hands, out to your abdomen, out to other parts of your body? Maybe you can feel some heat forming in that area. Focus on that area and try to feel any kind of heat, magnetism, tingling sensation there. Breathe deeply into your lower belly. Now, breathe in through your nose. Exhale out, drop your knees to one side and look the other way, exhale. Relax your whole body. Breathe into your lower belly, exhale. Ooh. Return, switch. Other direction. Inhale. Exhale. Ooh. Ooh. Return one more time. Drop. Turn, switch. Okay, return to center. Now slowly turn your body to the left side and sit up, please. As a note, that's a very good exercise to do for women who get menstrual cramps. If you loosen up that sacrum area by doing tapping against the floor, it will really help you circulate energy that is causing menstrual cramps. All right, now let's continue. Place your hands on your knees. We're going to rotate our waist, okay? So drop stretch as far down as you can into the side and back feel the rotation in your waist one two you should feel the stretching in all angles of a circle three four make sure you are breathing and five rotate other direction one two Three. Can you feel your waist? Stretch deeply. Four. Last one. 
and five. Okay, great job. Now twist, twist from your midsection. Breathe, whoo, whoo. Great job and stop. Now let's tap the front side of our abdomen. Make your hands into a fist and seal the top of your fist with your thumbs. With your pinky side, I want you to tap that second chakra area two inches below your navel and imagine you are tapping through the skin into the center of your body, like this. Relax your shoulders, no tapping like this. Relax your shoulders. You can close your eyes too. Straighten your spine. Tuck your chin slightly inward and touch the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. As you tap here, bring your mind, your awareness to the center of your body. The area that you're tapping, focus your attention right in that center point. Let's tap here for one minute. For one minute, totally focus your mind to the center of your body, your second chakra. As you tap here, relax parts of your body that you feel are tight. For example, your shoulders, your arms, chest, even your gut. You might find yourself tensing your gut area when you tap. Relax that area so energy can move more freely. The benefit of tapping here is to release stagnant energy that is in your gut area and also by focusing on the center of your body you are bringing your energy down here where the mind goes energy follows and where energy follows it accumulates 30 more seconds don't forget to breathe Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Massage your abdomen clockwise. Slowly open your eyes. How do you feel? Do you feel some tingling, subtle tingling sensation in your body, particularly your core area and maybe your hands too? If you're very sensitive to energy, you might still feel some tingling on the back side from the tapping that we did earlier. Of course, 10 minutes is not very long, so I recommend doing this routine again to feel even deeper benefits, even deeper awakenings. A lot of us hold a lot of tension here for many different reasons, from sitting down, from emotional components, from diet, so many things that cause this second chakra midsection area to be blocked. So I recommend doing this again so that you can keep opening, keep opening and keep opening deeper. You did a great job. You are the only one. You are the only one who can empty your own trash bin. You are responsible for your own emotions. When you start to live with the responsibility of your own emotions, you can never say he hurt me emotionally or she hates me or the classic you have made me feel bad or you made me do it. To be positive and opening and willing to change is the first step. Thank you for being on this journey with me and thank you for your continued support of this message and this channel. Please leave a comment and tell us where you are on your journey. And is there a specific video you would like to see me create with illustrations? I read all my comments. Looking forward to hanging out with you in the next video.